Here we are going to use the cat hack firmware from Statue. And for this, we will also need several parts, which is the WC1101 transceiver module and a micro SD card module. And for both of them, I will choose to connect them with a breadboard as I will only test this on my desktop. But for those who want to have like more portability, you could use one of the prototype board that Statue suggested in his GitHub page and you have result of this installation. This is not the first time I'm using the M5 stick. I really like this device and I have already covered in a previous video where I was using the Nemo firmware from Noxa. If you haven't watched it already, I suggest you to do so as this firmware does not require additional hardware. M5 Stick Plus 2 is an SP32 built into a small enclosure with a screen and buttons. This one is yellow and the older version were orange. It's quite compact when you compare it to a Flipper Zero. It almost covers the entire screen surface. Its feature includes two extension ports, one with GPIO on top and on the bottom a groove port. It also have a USB-C port. Its feature include as well a built-in six axis sensor, a buzzer, an IR transmitter, a microphone, a real-time clock, and a 200 milliamp battery. Flashing the firmware is really easy thanks to M5 burner application. You select the module type. So here we're using stick C. In here we're going to type cat and select cat hack. For this, I have already plugged the M5 module to the computer so I could hit download. I just ensure I select the last version. And now I could hit burn to flash the device. I will keep every settings by default and I will hit start. Once the flash is successful, the M5 will restart. I will switch camera and we will continue. Let's start this walkthrough with the SubKeyGuards tools. It uses both modules, the WC1101 and the microSD module to save and replay recorded signals. There is also monitor and jamming functionality. I kept the default frequencies, but if you want to change them, you could in the main menu. Using the Flipper Zero frequency analyzer, you could observe here the cat hack is jamming on 434 megahertz. Now I will generate a signal using the Flipper Zero brute force application and we could observe it on the cat hack using the monitor application. From here, I must say it's really easy to navigate between recording and replay menu and even browsing to all the files. I've already used this micro SD with a Flipper Zero and other device, so there are plenty of files, but it's really easy with the top button to move up and the down button to move below and M5 button on front of it to select. In addition to the sub gigahertz functionality, the developer leverage the Bluetooth capabilities from the ESP32. Right now, only the scheming check is implemented. I assume the BLE spam integration is under development. The scheme check is probably looking for potential no BLE board, similar to what Call Me Coco have developed 
with the malware. The Wi-Fi chip is not forgotten with several functionalities planned. Right now, the wire driving feature is working, but without GPS capabilities. I'm not sure if it's planned in the future, but right now it's quite promising because it's a new project. And last but not least, there is a TV Big On application that's aimed to shut down the closest TV inside. I must say, I found this project really promising. I am looking forward to future integration to keep it quite compact. Maybe the 3D printer will be turned on soon, so stay tuned.